and we're back. So let's talk about some more small shop pins. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to my palace where I do all things Disney, hence the punsy, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. All right guys, so if you haven't seen before, I did a video talking about all kinds of different small shop pins on Etsy that are Disney and they are so beautiful and so adorable and I absolutely love supporting small shops. So I made an entire video going through all of my favorites and I wanted to share all of those with you but there were so many that I wanted to share, so I decided to break it up into two parts. And in this part, I wanted to show you some of the non-Disney pins and stickers that I really, really enjoy from Etsy from these small shops. They are so beautiful and so well designed, as well as you get to know a little bit more about me and the things I like. So stay tuned if you like theater and if you like good TV shows and if you like really cool fantasy books, and I will show you some really cool items for all of those things. So first set of pins that I'm going to be looking at are all A Court of Thorns and Roses inspired pins, which is a book series that is all about fantasy that I super duper love and super enjoy. And it's very much part of my aesthetic because it is a lot of nighttime looking pins, which I really, really love. And it all has to do with the different seasons and ugh, I just enjoy it a lot. So let's look at some of those pins. So this one is from Gothicon. So this is to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. It has the different mountains here. So this one is just really cool. I really love that quote and I think it's really cool, but there's more. This pen I think is probably my favorite and it's by Spellbound Designs Co. And it's so pretty and beautiful and perfect. And it's all the different seasons and all the different courts in the book series. And it's so cool. It has day, night, spring, summer, autumn, winter, and dawn. And I just think it's so cool and it's so beautifully designed and I love that it's like a little wheel. So this isn't a pin and it's not a sticker, but I think it's really cool. So it is by Briar Wick and it is a Rison candle. So it smells like citrus, jasmine, and starlight, which I don't know how you captured the smell of starlight. I just thought that was really cool. And I love candles and I love burning a candle in my little lantern while I'm reading. So that would be a perfect thing to have burning while I'm reading. This next one is I think very cute. I think it would be a really cute like little badge to wear at times. And so this one is by Belle Regalia and it says Hi Lady of the Night Court and I love all the little stars and sparkles on it there. I absolutely love it and I love the blue color. This one. I love this one. This one used to be out of stock and now it's back in stock and I absolutely love it. This is also by Gothicon and it's the cauldron spilling and it says only you can decide what breaks you and I love that quote. I think it's my favorite quote from the book series and it's just so pretty and it again has some of that nighttime aesthetic and I love that it has the cauldron in there. Looking at a lot of these pins you wouldn't know Oh, that's from that unless you know about the series or you know about that fandom. And that's what I really like about a lot of pins from Etsy is that you can't always tell what it exactly it's from, but I know and any other fans of it would know. And that's how we become friends. And I also just love this one because I love the night court like emblem of the different mountains and the stars with the moon. And so this one's just really pretty. And this is from Read and Wonder. So speaking of some more books, there's a serious lack of some Percy Jackson pins out there. So we need some more of those. There were on my Instagram if you go and look and I'll probably pop in a picture here, but they had a bunch of different pins that they have created and they had a whole Kickstarter for it. It's so pretty. It has, it's the child of the gods pin series. And I honestly, I want all of them. First one I would want is child of Athena because I think I'm a child of Athena, but I want all of them and they're so pretty. I will show you all of them in the picture here because they're so cool and they're just beautiful. But besides those, there's also this one by Order of Chaos Pins Co. This Percy Jackson inspired pin it says Camp Half-Blood around it and it has this beautiful sword. And I think, yep, they also have it for the Heroes of Olympus. So it's SPQR, Camp Jupiter also on there. As much as I do enjoy the Heroes of Olympus series and everything, and I might get that pin later, I just want the Riptide with Camp Half-Blood around it, honestly. To keep on our book pin train, there's also this one by MacGuffin Goods that's I'm going on an adventure pin from The Hobbit. I enjoy Lord of the Rings but I'm much more of a Hobbit fan so I love this I'm going on an adventure pin and I love that it has 
a little smog there in the back and it's the hobbit door i love the hobbit doors they're so cute so next is another pin from gothicon and i love this one so this is going off of books but this was based on a book into movies and this is the princess bride inspired pin and it says as you wish and it has the mask that wesley wears and i just love it so much it's so simple and so perfect and everything and again it's that if you see it you know it because you're a fan of it and i just love this pin it's really cool okay next we're going to be going into some musicals so i'm a huge theater nerd huge theater fan and i absolutely love musicals and my favorite musical is the phantom of the opera and there were two pins that i found that are phantom of the opera inspired that are really beautiful and i really enjoy it's very hard to find pins that are inspired by musicals so that's something that people need to start getting on because i would buy so many of them because i love musicals and i love pins so but these two phantom of the opera pins are so beautiful so this is from one shop glory they have quite a few different musical pins so i actually really really like them and this is of the monkey music box and oh my gosh it gets me every time this is just such a beautiful perfect pin for that but i also really like this pin this is also from order of chaos pins co simple and perfect at the same time so it has some roses on it it has the mask of course iconic and it has this candle that looks like it's burnt out and you have to have a pin with the mask in it and there's quite a few different pins that are just the mask but i like this one a lot more because i think it has a bit more depth and aesthetic to it that is matching with the musical and then i also absolutely love this pin so this is also from one shop glory but this one is sadly sold out right now and i love shrek the musical i just love shrek in general and i love this pin because it's the little outhouse which is just so iconic to shrek but it's not something that's just like in your face this is shrek and it's really cool and i really love that and then next we go into a wicked inspired pin i love wicked of course it was one of the very first musicals that I like really got into. So this is from Love Does Designs and this is Glinda's bubble dress when she comes down in the bubble. So I thought this would just be so cute. I have a lot of the Disney princess dresses and I thought this would be so cute just to put in there with them. I definitely think Glinda would be total best friends with all of the Disney princesses and I think she's like a princess in her own right so I love this. And going off of that, this isn't musical but it is Wizard of the Oz and this is by Joy Addict and I love the Wizard of Oz. I played Dorothy in a version of Wizard of Oz so I super love it as well as I absolutely love Wicked. Wizard of Oz is a big place in my heart and this is so cute of the Emerald City with all the poppies there and then it has the little hot air balloons in the background. I just think it's so cute and it's inspired like a little stamp. Next we are getting into some TV shows so I don't have too many TV show pins but the ones I found are so cool. So I absolutely love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm re-watching it all the way through for another time and this is from Ashley's Persona and this one is so cute it's a little fluffy boy it's cheddar is on there and it's in the badge that says brooklyn 99 it says fluffy boy on the bottom it's so cute i love cheddar on there and i love that it's not just the badge of brooklyn 99 but it has cheddar on there and then another brooklyn 99 pin this is from fandom flare pins i saw two different versions of this pin i like this version a lot more because i think it just has a little bit more detail so this is a little vhs it says title of your sex tape and it says love the 99 and it says Jake Peralta on there so I just love it because it has a lot more of those details it still says title of your sex tape and I just iconic iconic running joke throughout the whole series another tv show that is my absolute favorite is Parks and Rec. I love Parks and Rec. There is not enough Parks and Rec pins, but I do have a Parks and Rec sticker on my laptop that is really cute. It's Marshmallow Ron Swanson. I love it but I love this pin. It is by Pinnacle Goods and it is the Pawnee Goddesses badge. And I just think it's so cute. I love that episode. I love the Pawnee Goddesses as just an idea. And so I just thought this was so cool. All right, and yet another TV show that I absolutely love and there's like barely any merch out there anywhere for it is Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. That show is amazing. And this is a sticker. It's not a pin, but it's really cute. And I really like it anyway. It's by Mika. Mikamore? Mike Amore? Mikamore? It's on the screen. But it is of Rebecca in the pretzel in her dress in the very first episode. And it's just so iconic and I absolutely love it. And it's perfect. If you haven't seen Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and you like musicals, definitely go and watch it because it's 
it's quite the ride. It's amazing. I love it so much. And then there's also this pin, which this isn't Disney. I guess it kind of is Disney now because Disney bought Fox and this is a Fox movie, but it's Anastasia. I love Anastasia. This pin is so beautiful. So it's by Ink and Imagination and it says Journey to the Past and it's the music box open. It has Russia and it has Paris on the other side. And it has, I'm gonna say Anastasia and Dimitri dancing in the middle. It's absolutely beautiful. I think this is just such a beautiful pin. And then the last few pins are Harry Potter pins. So I do not support buying Harry Potter licensed merchandise right now because I don't want to support JK Rowling, but there are so many people out there who still are creating Harry Potter styled things and I'd much rather support them and give them my money to still show my Harry Potter support and pride because I still do love the series. We're just gonna ignore that it was written by her. And this is an amazing pin set that I want all of them for. And this is by Garden Souls and it's called the Magic Windows pin set and they're so cool. So you would look at this and it has like all the Hogwarts houses as well as like an extra Hogwarts Express one and you would think oh well Libby would want her Hogwarts house, right? And I would. But I also want all of the Hogwarts houses because these are so well designed and so beautiful. So let's look through them, shall we? So I love this one of the Hogwarts Express because it has a little chocolate frog, it has the trolley car and all the candy and everything. And that's just really cute. And then the Gryffindor one, I love that it's shaped like this. And the Gravenclaw one is shaped the same way because they're both tower common rooms. So I think that was really nice. Good attention to detail. And I just love all the little stuff in there. It has the sort of Gryffindor, it has a snitch, it has Hedwig in there. I love the Slytherin one because I love the different shape of it because it's more down in the dungeons and I just love all the little glowy kind of green orb vibes things going on here as well as the cauldron down there. I love the cauldron. Ravenclaw house looks so beautiful. Minor side note, uh, the colors of Ravenclaw house are not blue and silver. It's actually blue and bronze but I still think it looks really beautiful, so we're just gonna ignore that. But it's very pretty and I love that they have Luna's goggles in there. And then the Hufflepuff one, oh my gosh, I love so much. So I am a Slytherin, but I'm kind of a Slytherpuff, so I really like a lot of Hufflepuff things. <laughs> and this is just so cute, I love it. A lot of people are like, well, Hufflepuffs are basically like hobbits then, right? Because their doors are shaped like a circle, their common room is by the kitchens, and it's just adorable and I love all the little plants. And I think it's a little Niffler that's in there. And the Niffler is my favorite uh, magical creature from the series. So I absolutely love that. They're so pretty and I want all of them because they're so cool. Last Harry Potter thing is a sticker by Crafts by Tessa and I really love her shop. I love a lot of her stickers and I've gotten quite a few of them before, but this one is so me. I love it so much. It's Hermione raising her hand adamantly and I absolutely love this sticker. I think it's so cute and it's so me and I would love to get the sticker for another reading tracker layout. That would be just so cool. Those are all of the other pins and stickers and other merchandise from other fandoms that I really, really enjoy besides just Disney. I know there's a lot of Disney behind me and I do a lot of Disney content, but I do enjoy a lot of other things, a lot of other book series, a lot of TV shows and movies. And I just wanted to share all of that with you guys as well as showing these small shops some love and appreciation. I hopefully will be able to buy some of these over time because they are all just very beautiful. So congratulations to all of you beautiful, talented people who made these shops and are selling these items. Go and check them out. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite item that I showed off today was. And if you are a huge Disney fan like me, what is another fandom that you're a huge fan of as well? Because I shared a lot of those other fandoms I'm a huge fan of as well today. Be sure to answer the question in the comment down below in order to be entered for my 250 subscriber giveaway. If you want more details on that, I will leave that linked in the card up above. So don't miss out on that. And if you like this video, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell.